In early 2021, a hyena cub was found in Nasik, very close to human settlement areas. Reunion with its mother had not been successful, leaving the orphan with two future outcomes. Either get sent to a zoo and remain captive for life, or perish because a wild orphan on its own cannot make it past predators or find its own food to survive. The IUCN has categorized the striped hyena as near-threatened species as the worldwide population was assessed to be below 10,000 individuals. As a species, they have faced persecution through the ages. Several say their population has taken a severe beating due to habitat destruction and retaliatory killings owed to popular beliefs. A grossly false assumption is that they are menacing. But in actuality, the Indian striped hyena is quite shy and elusive. What options did this hyena have left? Why subject an animal to a lifetime of captivity if we could attempt raising her to survive the wild? If successful, she could be the torchbearer for several others who get sentenced to captivity without a chance. We came up with a third option. We decided to take her in and give her the best possible chance. She was destined for the wild. Initially as cubs, hyenas need some level of interaction and company to thrive and get past separation anxiety stress. Since we had no other hyena cubs, one dedicated handler was assigned to her for the early days. She started self-feeding 21 days from the time she arrived, after which we began the process of desensitizing her from all human contact. She had an exhaustive list of rehabilitation milestones to get through in the next few months to be considered for reintroduction back in the wild. As she grew bigger, she moved enclosures mainly differing in size and enrichment that provided her the opportunities for her wild instincts to kick in. She would dig herself a den to safely snooze during the day and display pasting behavior and would mark her territory every time she was moved. She was exposed to varying qualities and frequencies of food and water and subjected to scarcities and different weather conditions over the year. We often discovered that she would hide parts of her meals and go back to eat it days later. We monitored her hormone levels at different stages to assess maturity and realized it would soon be time to prepare her for release. The reality that we live in is that even if an animal is physically capable of being reintroduced back in the wild, finding a suitable release site is extremely challenging. RFO Nivruti Chavan of Satara Forest Department and Amit Sayyad from WLPRS directed us to an area that was rich in wildlife and sufficiently distant from human settlements. We affixed a GPS tracking collar and put it on a week prior to release in order to acclimatize her to it.
as she took her first steps out towards freedom it was anxiety that hit us would she manage the terrain would she survive even one day the entire team we felt like parents watching a child move away when they're leaving home you know you have to let go but it's the hardest thing you'll ever do as soon as she got out she squatted pasted and marked her territory as if signifying that i have arrived Today is day 14. She's made it for the last 2 weeks. Initially for a day she remained in about 600 meters of her release location. But on day 2 onwards she began exploring. Our team stayed in the area tracking her movements and checking signs for all the shenanigans she was up to. Over the next few days, she appeared on our camera traps near a water source multiple times, along with several other wildlife, including jackals, foxes, wild boar, mongoose, and porcupines. On day six, the tracking team accidentally bumped in quite close to her while they were on foot. She looked good. She looked directly at them for a few seconds and darted away as though she was worried we're going to capture her again. This has never been done before with a striped hyena and we are at a nascent stage of rethinking old ideas about reintroducing animals back in the wild. The GPS scholar should allow us to track her for a year more at least but there is so much left to learn. Freedom has got to be a choice that is offered especially when the fate of wildlife is already threatened. If we don't push boundaries now we will never know if these animals will make it back in the wild everyone deserves a second chance now more than ever before